Hello, this is Ivan for watchandlearn.com and this is a series introduction to a new series which is going to be called something like WP REST API theming or something like that. So basically what we are going to be doing is we are going to start with a fresh WordPress installation. We are going to install WP REST API on it and then we are going to create our theme without PHP, so without the default WordPress functionality. We are going to be using Vue.js as a front-end framework and we are going to get our data from the API. So not to get too technical about all this, I just want to show you what we are going to be building so to get you excited about this series hopefully. So this is the site that we are going to be making. So it looks like pretty much any blog. So but we have these filters right here which come from Vue.js and we can filter out our data by uh, them. We can also filter it by name so we'll just up start typing something and it filters all that out. We can close that filter. Uh, we can open up a preview of our post. We can check out the other posts if we want. Go back. We can check out the full version of this post and also uh, check out the next post, the previous post, get back to the post list. So nothing too fancy here but it looks kinda cool and this is not generated by WordPress, it's actually generated by Vue.js. So JavaScript, as you can see there is no page loading right here so when you click it, it just opens up, uh, you click read more, it, there is a little bit of a delay but the content gets uh, rendered pretty fast. So this is what we are going to be creating. Also if this series gets enough views uh, we can even extend these, uh, this so I didn't wanna go full out on the functionality that we are going to be building. Uh, <coughs> I would like to maybe make comments for the posts also, I would like to maybe make, when you click on read more, so maybe make some transitions and so on. So if, as I said, if this series gets enough views, we can uh, extend this a little bit. So I hope uh, you like what you saw right here. In this episode, we are going to set up our WordPress. Uh, set up our data, install JavaScript, install everything we need uh, for us to actually get working in the next episode. So first of all we are going to be needing a theme for our WordPress site and I'm going to download Olympus theme. Of course if you follow this channel you know all about Olympus theme. You can check out the video about it. You can use whatever theme you like because as you will see we will delete most of the stuff in this theme. So I'm just going to download this zip file and I'm going to put it in the assets folder of my WP REST folder. So this is where our site is going to live. So I'm just going to save that here and then I'm going to go to assets and then right here I'm going to go to themes, create a new folder called Olympus and I'm going to paste all of the files from it right here. Uh, this theme comes with the support for gulp.js and uh, CS and so on so you can use this package JSON file and gulp file JS and just move it to the root of your theme and then run npm install. But as I said there is a video about Olympus theme so you can know how to use it. Uh, so this is what we are left with. So I'm going to delete this 404 page as we don't need it. I'm going to leave footer and header because we actually will be needing those. Uh, but you can even delete them. You can put everything in the index.php file. Uh, also we don't need this lib folder right here and uh, in the JavaScript folder you can delete this olympusmin.js. We are going to needing fonts and images just for the styling. Uh, style CSS 
can stay right here because of course we are going to do some styling on our uh, <coughs> site and I think that's about it so you would have only header index and footer <coughs> so if we go to our code editor right here uh, we would have header which is just default almost default WordPress header and then you would have footer right here uh, I just decided to leave those in as I said you can copy out the header copy all of this and put it in index.php and copy out footer and put it in index.php and just work with index.php file but I just like to keep those separated so so that our index file will be just like this so we're just going to have get header get footer and this is where we are going to do or all, all of our HTML so I'm going to save this and uh, that's about it for that uh, then we can download first of all Vue.js so I'm just going to cl click install right here and then we are going to download development version and I'm going to put it in WP content themes Olympus JS so Vue.js we need that also we are going to be needing a view resource so a view resource is going to help us get all the data from our WP REST API so I'm just going to go to the github of view resource and go to dist and then viewresource.js and I'm just going to click raw right here and save this file as viewresource.js save this and also we are going to be needing view router uh, view router is going to help us so when we go right here and click read more as you can see the URL changes to post 128 so this is the URL of that post okay so this is what we are going to be needing view router for so we also go to dist we can check view router click raw and just save this page as view router.js save it okay and now we are going to be needing just one more file and that is going to be called app.js and in that file we are going to <coughs> write all of our JavaScript so so we have this view resource right here view, view router view JS and now I'm going to uh, create app.js file and we're going to leave it uh, to be empty for now and next thing we are going to be needing is just going to footer.php and then we are going to call all of those files okay so this is just pure JavaScript call so we are calling a template URL and then we are calling JS first we call view.js then view resource view router and lastly we call app.js file save this and that's it for our theme now we we are going to set up our WordPress installation to get the WP rest app app going and to set up some uh, fake or dummy data so in our fresh installation of WordPress I'm first going to go to plugins and add a new plugin and we are going to install a plugin called faker press Faker Press, so that we can uh, Faker Press maybe like this, okay, so that uh, we can install some dummy data. So just click install now, and then activate the plugin. Okay, now we have Faker Press right here. So before we generate some dummy data I'm going to create some categories because FakerPress creates categories that are very hard to read so I'm going to create my own so behind the scenes I'm going to create a few categories right here as you can see I created oranges, apples, cars, books, movies 
and this is uncategorized so that comes with WordPress so next thing we are going to be doing we are going to go to faker press and we're going to go to posts and then the quantity of the posts is going to be 20 uh, the post type is going to be posts the date can be whatever so we can set the date to be from this date to this date okay uh, parents we are not going to allow comments for now uh, use HTML randomized content okay I don't want h1 tags right here and I don't want let me see okay this all okay uh, featured image rate is going to be a hundred percent so we are going to have featured image for every post and then uh, our taxonomies are going to be categories and the terms that we are going to be using is apples books cars movies and oranges the rate is going to be 100% and the quantity is going to be 1. Okay, and I think uh, that's about it. We just click generate. And as you can see, we have some posts generated. So, faked 15, faked 5. Okay, if we go to posts right now, we should see them. So, we have these posts right here. If we click on one of them, you can see the post content you can see the featured image right here and that's about it okay uh, one thing we didn't do but we, what we should probably do is change the theme so the theme that we are going to be activating is called Olympus for me for you it can be something else so we got that covered and that's about it for uh, faking the content for our WordPress theme next thing we are going to be doing is we are going to be installing WP REST API okay so we go to our plugins go to WP REST API search for it and as you can see here uh, many people have started developing mod uh, actually plugins for <coughs> WP REST API, so a ACF to West a a REST API AP menus, uh, even even for WP WMPL, uh, and so on. So as you can see, it's not even the first choice for you. This is the one you have to install is this one. So WP REST API version two. It's still in beta. I think it's beta 12 right now. So we are going to be installing uh, this one. Okay, and then we activate the plugin. And that's about it. So you don't have to do anything with the uh, REST API as you can see you don't have any setting f settings for it or anything you just have to install it so how do you get the data from it where is the data so if you go to WP REST API site and then you view version 2 documentation so you don't wanna uh, use version 1 so you get this documentation right here which is pretty good so you have this API reference right here so if you click on posts you can see this curl options right here and you can see the endpoints for uh, example for your posts so we can do something like copying uh, this right here and then we can go to our page WREST WP REST dev so this is our front page but if we do this URL right here so WP JSON WP V2 posts and if we press enter we should get the JSON of all of our posts actually first 10 of our posts so as you can see we have the dates right here we have the slug we have the type we have the link title uh, we have the content for the post and so on so this post has much more content 
So this is what we are going to be hooking up into to get the data. So to get, for example, this list of posts right here. So via this JSON API. Also this API receives some arguments. So we can do something like per page equals one. If we do that, then we should get just one post and so on. Also you can go post slash and I don't know one and you should get the post that has an ID of one. So you see how that works. Okay, so we have set up our WP REST API, our theme, JavaScripts, WordPress, uh, content that we are going to be receiving. So I think that we are ready to start coding our theme in the next episode. If I forgot something, it will be done in the next episode, but I think I didn't. So that's about it for this one. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you guys will enjoy this series and I hope you will learn something new. Of course, everything we do here will be available for you on GitHub uh, per episode. So always check out the des description below as there is going to be a link to the code that we used in this episode, actually in the following ep episodes. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you like the channel, like it. Uh, if you like this video, please like the video. Also, you can follow me on Facebook or on Twitter if you like. So that's about it. Thank you for watching once again and I'll see you in the next episode.